Yes, people. So this video, we wanna. It's basically a progression from the last video, which we, we were comparing what people were saying about Africans in the UK, as opposed to those people that are actually in the UK. In this particular video, I wanna have more of a conversation with you guys. Yeah, so I'm not gonna stick to the uh, time limits from the video and try and fit everything in. I want to have more of a conversation and to speak to you guys freely. So, the first thing we want to tackle in this video is what you have to do if you're trying to get a job in the UK. So, the very first thing before you get a job is to get yourself a visa. And we're gonna speak to you guys specifically about tier 2 visas I think these are the ones that are most popular these are the ones that most people that come to the UK the jobs that you guys go for will particularly be in this tier so something like a nurse Okay, so once you've got your visa and you make your way to the UK, next thing you need to do is immediately regi register yourself at an address. An address, a permanent address is very important guys. Make sure you have correspondence coming to this address. So it's got your name on a letter plus the address so you can use this as part of proof that it is your address and you do live in the UK. Once you've got your address is to go to the Social Security Office or also known as the Unemployment Office in some places and get yourself a national insurance number. This helps them to integrate you into the system so you will need this as well as a UK bank account. So once you've got your national insurance then get yourself a bank account. Uh, most employers will pay you directly into your bank account. So you need a basic current account. And I think uh, most people that come into the UK for the first time tend to opt for Lloyds Bank or Santander Bank. So once you've got everything that you need, so you've got yourself the visa before you arrived in the country, you got yourself a, an address, you got yourself a national insurance number, you got yourself a bank account. Uh, the only other thing I would um, urge you guys to do is look more into the English English. So don't get confused between American English and the England English because they are quite different and uh, just do a couple of research things on the internet watch a couple of YouTube videos on the way certain people speak in the UK now the UK is made up of uh, different regions so we have the Scottish principality we have the welsh and we have the northern ireland and we also have obviously england now the way people speak in these different areas um changes drastic drastically so i think it's it's up to you depending on which area you're going to to do a bit of research on the area you're going to and find out how people speak, what certain terms are used, just to get yourself familiar with the accents 
the way they talk, uh, just to prepare yourself really, it's just a little uh, homework for you guys. Uh, tips. So the tip I would say is that there, there is definitely going to be a lot of jobs appearing once this pandemic is over within the UK. So I predict that there will be lots of jobs in the service industry, there'll be lots of jobs in the catering industry, there'll be lots of jobs in the farming industry in the very near future. So in the near future we're talking about four, five, six months from now. So my tip would be for those that are looking for work would be to be prepared, do your research, know exactly where these jobs are likely to appear, have your paperwork ready to go, have your passport ready to go and uh, maybe have a contact in terms like a job agency or a job agent that you are in contact with that will help you to move quickly once these jobs appear because I guarantee you that there will be lots and lots and lots of these jobs appearing once uh, the COVID thing has subsided and uh, at the moment they're talking about people getting the vaccines and everybody being offered the vaccines by the autumn so that's we're talking a couple of uh, months from now so once that's done there'll be more people out and about and uh, people will be going back to normal and if that's the case then we've lost a lot of workers because of covid they've gone back to their home countries so that means there'll be jobs for new people and that's where you guys come in so okay guys so that's it really that's all the information i wanted to give you guys um or all, all that is left to say is good luck if you are looking to make this journey take your time do your research have uh make sure you have uh some contacts before you get here for people that are on the ground that are actually living here so they can tell you exactly what the situation is just in case something changes and you don't know about it before you get here and it's uh you don't want to waste your money so that all comes under research really so do your research beforehand go through the process and uh good luck um that's it really for guys for me uh, if you want any more videos in relation to this or other things from someone from the, that lives in the uk like myself then uh, pop a comment down below give me some um, ideas on uh, what uh, you want in future videos and i will do my best to accommodate you guys okay good luck and i'm out